Work continues on the Mount Vernon Highway Bridge. One day after a tractor trailer hit the crossing over I-285, 11 Alive Sky Tracker was out there as crews were working to assess the damage to the structure. 11 Alive's Grace King joins us to explain what they found out there so far, Grace. Jennifer, the Georgia Department of Transportation says five beams over that bridge were critically damaged. The question now is just how quickly that can be repaired or if it can be repaired at all. Oh, yeah. The Georgia Department of Transportation says roughly 12,000 people use that bridge every single day. While 285 is back open, they say Mount Vernon Highway drivers should prepare for a, quote, long-term closure. There are detours in place, but neighbors told me it's creating more traffic. It's critical. I mean, it's really what the main thoroughfare to get uh, you know, from the residential area into the city. And so uh, absent of uh, you know, Mount Vernon Highway, we end up having to go through people's neighborhoods, which is never preferred. Today, the Georgia State Patrol told us it issued citations for height and weight to the driver of the tractor trailer that caused the damage. They were hauling an excavator that did not make it underneath the bridge. GDOT told me it's meeting in an hour to discuss the results of that inspection report today and determine what their next steps will be. They hope to have a better timeline for when this bridge could reopen at that point.